Welcome to the virtual towers of binary Ooh. Ar oh, Mate, I've told you about this. You've got to wait for me to finish the introduction. No, you're excited. Just have a bit of patience, all right? Sorry, mate. Welcome to the virtual towers of Binary Arcadia, where the games go on long into the night. Greetings, Barcadians. Well, today's video is all aboard the hype train. Go on then. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, just for those of you who aren't um, au fait with this formula of uh, video that we put out, we've, we've got a little playlist called uh, Hype Train, and essentially it's just to uh, wax lyrical on uh, our upcoming games that we're really excited about. And this one might feature an upcoming console as well. So yeah, we're just going to give you a quick blast of um, you know what we know at the minute, what's upcoming, give you some rough idea on dates, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about this upcoming console we're very excited about. So Richard, do you want to kick us off with yes. the first game? So I'm going to start uh, with Luigi's Mansion, which is um, two weeks away from release, roughly, I think. Yeah, 31st um, of October, is it? Yeah. Luigi's Mansion, I think? Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't that excited about this when I first saw it, but as time's moved on, it, I think it's just got better and better. The, the more they've like shown off the little little intricacies of the gameplay and stuff and the way the graphics have, have played out and stuff i think this is looking brilliant looking like such a fun game to play yeah i definitely agree it looks like a fun house a theme park yeah. of, of mm. a game and i love that element it, it sort of reminds me a bit like the lego lego games like yeah, lego I star wars i remember that. playing mm. like mm. this kind of this fixed sort of camera angles you walk through different places in a bit of a collectathon. Um, yeah yeah but obviously with that Nintendo charm, you know, quality, yeah, yeah. the graphics are looking really impressive compared with yes. previous iterations. I think, I think that's one of the things. I feel like the graphics have really, you know, each trailer we've seen have sort of moved it on a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. And also some of the game mechanics, you know, I think most videos have shown off a little, you know, new game mechanic, you know, puzzling elements, you yeah. know, with this um, GUIG, which is like a, well, it's like a, a gooey version of Luigi that you can use to like move through bars and stuff which really adds a nice little element to it I yeah think. It, it makes it a bit Lost Vikings uh, this old game where you could swap between characters with different skill sets and I, I yeah. like that but it also we know that that's going to actually add a cooperative element for couch co-op with yes. friends or other halves potentially which is great yeah, really excited for that and as you say with each new demo reel we see like a new gloss of paint over it don't mm. we that it really just it starts to look uh, beautiful. i mean uh, i guess it makes sense but at this point it looks finished you know the, i know yeah. we, i think the last last sort of trailers were a few months ago and for me it looks pretty much the last things we saw were sort of e3 time and it it looks like a complete game i think it was actually playable at e3 well the trailer um, that but, sticks out in my mind is this guy who's like a director ghost and you're going through a series of rooms that are like yes. on a film set yeah and it ends in this it, kind yeah. of godzilla-esque battle yes. which it, it just looks so creative it looks, it looks great doesn't it it looks like so, someone's gone right here's the luigi format how can we freshen this up from the previous games and make it you know more fun to play an exciting prospect and i think they've really done that so i'm super excited for that one the only thing i will say not to put the dampeners on it but i've heard some stuff this week coming out of game explain a okay. big youtube channel <clears throat> i won't say that they, they sound disappointed but I know that they were really excited about it and there's almost a sense, I've not listened to a great deal of the footage to be honest, just snippets of some of their videos and a preview kind of thing they did. But I just got a little, a slight sense of them being a little bit disappointed in it. Like so, underwhelmed. Yeah, exactly that, that's a great word mm. for it. They seem, a, I think they played through, they said up to around halfway through the game and mm. they were a little bit underwhelmed and they put a video out, I think it was today, or this might be obviously in the past when we released this video, but commenting on how annoying the noise is when Luigi's health gets really low. And for them to go out of their way to put that video out yeah. there is a bit like, okay, you know. But mm. I've got it on pre-order. I've got the pack with the t-shirt and like a little key ring, I think, coming with it. And oh, nice. Deal book, maybe. Lovely stuff. So I'm excited still. 
I mean, the, the, the only, the only, and we'll come on to this in a second. But there's a lot of games out in this next like period of time. It, you know, it's almost like you've got speed play some of them to get through some of them. Oh, it's felt like that for us. You know, recently with Links Awakening and Astral Chain alone, hasn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, that's blimey. it. So, what is next on the horizon tabs? I think is I've it, got a good idea. Is it uh, got to catch them all? Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Yes, I think it is gotta actually, catch yes. Them all, gotta catch them all. Yeah, is that is that like a week later, I think? Yeah, I'm not too sure on the dates on this. I'm going to rely on you if that's okay, Richemus. I think it's the it's either the 1st or the 8th. Is it out the same day as Death Stranding? No idea. Don't know. Because I'm not the playing it if it is. I'm, I'm sure. playing Death Stranding. <laughs> but yeah, so um, well, what, what do we know about this, Tabs? So... We've seen quite a bit now. I mean, there's been some mixed reactions in the fan base because we know it doesn't host all of the Pokemon throughout the series. Mm. Um, which, I don't, which seems an oversight to me. Why, why would you not do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Just the sheer time and the, the amount of animations, I suppose. But yeah, I know what you're getting at. And then there's been shots fired graphically. There was this infamous tree texture, which apparently looked like PS1 level texture grade. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, I think people are thinking that you know I personally do wonder if they're probably a bit burnt out you know the team on making Pokemon games mm. we know that they made this is it a little town hero um, oh, which right. is by the way getting review bombed pretty hard by a couple of big YouTubers I've seen it's apparently yeah. a, bit of, a bit of a mess oh, but yeah. apparently they had part of the team working on that and it makes you think well if they did they do that to try and alleviate mm. some of this burnout feeling yeah. of, of churning out so many Pokemon games year after year? So uh, I mean, for that reason, I'm worried. But go on, Rich. What, what, what I'm you? excited about this game. A couple of things. Um, uh, my, my other half, some would say my better half, uh, is really massive fan of Pokemon. I think she had Pokemon Blue, Yellow, Red. <laughs> she had Pokemon <laughs> Red. <laughs> and Nicely um, done. Loved it um, and uh, really enjoyed the Pokemon. Uh, is it Let's Go? No, is it Pokemon Go? The one where you For went the mobile, out and you, the, yeah. yeah, augmented reality sort of thing. Really enjoyed that. And then obviously the Pokemon Let's Go came out. Bought that. Really, really enjoyed playing that. Completed that. Um, so you know, this is almost like a step back to how the the Pokemon was of old. You know, it's it's back to that almost sort of RPG sort of uh, take on it. You would say it's a bit RPG take tabs? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, classic RPG style. You know, leveling up and... Yeah, the, the full array, the full repertoire of the Pokemon mechanics from the older mm. games. In yeah. terms of combat, yeah, leveling up, like you say, you know, this big kind of open world adventure style. Um, so I, I, yeah. I, I think it takes the original Pokemon format, which was universally popular, sold millions, and it tries to bring it into the modern era with this proper 3D open world, movable camera. So let's hope they've not fallen flat on that because uh, you know I think that could be a massively massive step forward for the series. So let's hope they've not messed it up. Yeah, I mean, so far from what we've seen, I'm not disappointed as such. Um, no, it, it all looks the nuts and bolts of it look promising. There's some good mm. ideas. This Gigantamaxing looks interesting. I just I hope it's not a facade and then when you get you know hands on with the game all of these facades fall over and there's a mm. bit of a, a half-baked mess that they've put together but you know yeah we'll see won't we and fingers yes, crossed because I would uh, love I myself played Pokemon Blue back in the day yeah I would yeah, love yeah. to get lost in a, a really good Pokemon game again so mm. so that brings us on to one the biggie that the one that me and you are super extremely excited about and anyone that uh, is a subscriber, a fan of the channel, uh, watches some of our videos will know it's a big deal in our world and that is Death Stranding! Death Stranding. Come on! <laughs> so, and, and we actually know that people are playing it right now, which, which is makes you excruciating. Sick. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it, I can taste it in the back of my throat, I don't know about you Rich. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But yeah, um, apparently journos out there um, are currently they've been given a review copies and they're you know they're currently getting their teeth into the full game, which seems quite early, doesn't it, Rich? 
Yeah, you would think so, especially given the review embargo doesn't um, cease until the 1st. But I guess at least that gives people a couple of weeks to play the game properly. Maybe that just the sheer size of the game means that's how long you need to play it to get a good that's feel. That's what I was it. wondering. Is that a, a signal to the fact that it's a really you know colossal game, which is good just, for us? And, and just to interrupt, unfortunately, Kojima hasn't sent us a review copy, just in no. case anyone was wondering. But Rich, we do have some fantastic news, more for you than anything else, that you we should do, tell the yes. channel about. Yes, so you may recall that uh, Tabs had got the collector's edition of Death Stranding, and I unfortunately missed out and went for the special edition. Which he hasn't let me forget about. <laughs> uh, but great news is I have now managed to secure myself a collector's edition uh, there was some more um, came in stock at game and I was able to get another one big shout out to Tabs who uh, spotted this for me and bang banged the order through for me so cheers for that Tabs yeah fingers crossed it's actually genuine we've uh, <laughs> we've been on the live chat to try and check it out <laughs> and uh, it was inconclusive I would describe yes so fingers, fingers crossed, crossed I've also managed to secure a uh, collector's edition so it will be a dual, um, a dual unboxing, I guess, of uh, the collector's mm. edition, which is amazing. Can't wait for that. Um, but just generally speaking, really excited for this game to, to the point where I'm thinking, oh, I don't know whether I've got enough time to play Luigi's Mansion uh, before Death Stranding. I we're hoping, in a nutshell, we're hoping it, it's going to compete with um, the kind of excitement, elation, enjoyment that we had with Breath of the Wild. Yes. Um, you know, fingers crossed. But that's why we're so excited about it. It's one of our favourite games, I mean, Breath of the Wild. A few people have pointed out, you know, we're excited about a game like very few people have played and have an opinion on, and now no one can give their opinion on it until the first. But I think it's good to go out, positive attitude, think it's going to be a good game. Um, I was reading some stuff today that they think that by Sony allowing the review embargo to go a week earlier than the game's release, it suggests that they're confident, confident that they've got a good... Um, a good game on their hands uh, and it's going to be well received but time will tell I'm still super excited I think there's yeah I'm just really excited about this game <laughs> yeah we could bang on we could make another two hour know, on this yeah. alone but let's Could, yeah. move it on so what have we got Definitely. next Rich so next um, and it's recent state of play which no tabs did while I was away um, or busy should I say uh, <laughs> and saw, saw a big chunk of this game and it's Last of Us 2 yeah, which we're planning some upcoming content on. Um, we are. So we know, is this is this February next year, Rich? I forget. Yes, mate, yes. February 2020. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I've played the first game, Rich has started it, um, and I think you're keen to try and catch up with it at some point, aren't you, mate? Yeah, it's 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 one of those, I don't know for whatever reason, but I, I missed it out. It's one of those games, you know, that, that you, you just, life passes you by and you don't get a chance to play but I have recently started playing it um, I've not managed to get too far into it because uh, Link's Awakening came well along <laughs> but uh, yeah I've definitely started playing it and from what I've, I've played so far it's it's looking really good so and you're a big Naughty Dog fan aren't you you love oh, your Uncharted massive. games oh yeah, yeah. that so. series alone is just amazing I love it so and you can yes, I, I mean, think you can feel you know the the, the flavour the, the signature style of Naughty Dog throughout all their games so you know, yeah. I, I think I well, I know you'll love it. And from what we're hearing, oh, I was listening to the, like a podcast. I think it was IGN again. Oh no, it was maybe it was kind of funny games. Um, and somebody on that was talking about it and literally saying like this is so far beyond what games are doing in terms of like wow. an animation, just wow. the, the depths and detail in all of the systems across the game. And it was so uh, exciting just to listen to somebody you know who's actually played it give their impressions and i was actually reading and i think i messaged you didn't i that some some person was commentating that uh the game is that hardware intensive it could blow ps4s up yeah. I and mean, they're obviously joking but i thought that's really interesting that, that, that this is obviously like end of line ps4 game you know it's literally finally harnessing all of the power of the ps4 uh, you know literally taking everything to its limits and I think that's cool that we've got to that point, you know, especially with the, the the introduction of the PS5 next year. I think that's really cool. 
And I think it, it's going to build on what it does well and what the last game did well. From what we're hearing, it's not a fully open world game, despite the last demo sort of looking like that. It's yes. kind of a hybrid, I think. So that tells mm. us that they really are going to focus on this story, this so, narrative, like they did in the first game. So in that sense, it's a bit like MGS4. Um, if, you remember, if you remember MGS4, it was sort of open world, but actually it was an open world, it was an open area, you would say. Is that Old, old Snake MGS4? Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so it, was, it, it was a free roam, but it was in that area. Then you'd move on to another area. Yeah, I think so, yeah. You're going to be kind of guided through a series of areas, but certain areas, either all of them or certain ones in between, are probably going to be quite expansive. Yes. So yeah, you yeah. can kind of go and you know, um, get, get resources from the world in different areas yeah. should you decide to push off the main, the main line of the plot and the narrative, um, which and I think is really exciting. It's looking incredible, isn't it? Let's face it. It looks oh, yeah. amazing. Up there with Red Dead Redemption 2 standards, if not in Definitely. some areas, maybe pushing beyond. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and obviously Death Stranding, which also looks brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, very excited for this. I think, you know, we'll say in, we'll go on to really dig into it in the upcoming content, but it's probably one of the best gaming narratives I've ever experienced. Wow, um, there's a bold claim. So yeah, up there with the likes of stuff like Bioshock, which uh, you'll, you'll see we've just made a video about as well. So yeah. So that sort of covers off games we're excited about in the next sort of, what, four or five months, but then moving further on into next year, there's one big thing that we're really excited about, and we got some news about this this week, and that is the PlayStation 5, which has been confirmed for release holiday 2020. Bring on Christmas Massive 2020. News. Yeah. And, and and I think we could take from that, I think a PlayStation's launched in sort of early-ish November, so I think that's sort of the time time window you're looking at there. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. I've booked some time off at Christmas though, uh, just in case, <laughs> so I, I can spend I think, plenty of time. Oh, was it the PS3 or the, I think it might be the was it, is it the PS3 or PS4 that launched early November? I've no idea, mate. I'm terrible with dates. Anyway, <laughs> we'll probably put something on screen to show which one it was. But yeah, so and, and actually the 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 most interesting thing this week and the most thing to get hyped about is the information we've had leaked and. You going to tell us a bit about that, Tabs? Yeah, I mean, Sony again in a very, um, I suppose it's a slightly strange style. They did kind of a shadow drop of information um, <laughs> about the upcoming PS5. Not None of the fanfare that we normally see with mm. a next-gen console reveal, um, which also perhaps sets the scene, is that what they're going to be doing moving forward? Kind of a drip feed of mm. small little reveals that build up to, well, next year's E3, which we'll come back to very shortly. But yeah, so um, the main features, Rich, we've got, we now know that the ray tracing solution is baked into the hardware. So it's Massive. not just a software solution, which is what we were concerned about. Um, it's baked into the hardware, kind of RTX style, perhaps, mm. um, which tells you that we're going to see, you know, some pretty, um, some pretty well finished ray tracing implementation. It's not going to be like yeah. a, you know, a, a very poor version of it. It's going to be a, a full fat form of ray tracing. We yeah. think. Mm. Um, Apart from that, we also know that the controller has got some, uh, they've tried to move that on as well. And there's haptic we feedback do. on the triggers. I think on the R2 and L2, I don't know if anything else, but uh, there's haptic feedback on those. So essentially what that means is there's gonna be, the, the controller is gonna be able to resist you pressing those buttons down, depending on what you're doing in any particular games. And I think they used a, um, a comparison to like if you're pulling a bow in a game or you know especially for driving games if you're on rough terrain you're going to feel that in these triggers as you accelerate or brake it's going to be a little bit more difficult perhaps if you're mm. on say dirt or off-road um anything more that we know rich do you want to help me out and and the um i mean haptic feedback sort of been around for a long time but not implemented in this way so like Haptic feedback is a little bit like your force feedback on your steering wheels, on your driving um, wheels that you can get. You know, it's that. It fights you. Know, it, you. 
Yeah, exactly. It sort of yeah. gives you that feedback as if you're in the car and it's that very similar thing. So, you know, maybe you're going through water and you feel some resistance on the triggers. Maybe you're moving through grass and there's the same kind of scenario, a different sensation. It's like that immersion effect that that will give you. And what um, links but, in with that, we, I, I can't remember the specific word they use or the term they use, but I think it's like an evolution of HD rumble on the switch, is it rich? Mm. So it, it's going to be a much more... Um, what's the word, sophisticated form of rumble yes. feedback as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, again, you know, that you might get a real sense of, it, it, you know, minute detail, like if you're on, say, if you're driving on snow, if you're driving on grass, if you're driving mm. on, you know, dirt, I, I think you'll get a much kind of, um, well, high definition sense, if you like, of, of that type of rumble style. Um, improved speaker in the controller they're saying they've That's not right. announced they've not announced what the controller will be called but given the fact that the PS4 has become the PS5 DualShock, DualShock 5. 3 became yeah. DualShock 4 it's probably with DualShock 5 let's face it um, we hope an improved battery life as well in the controller because that's oh, been especially it, poor in this one yeah really poor probably the worst of all of the kit all of the tech kit I've got that's got the worst battery you yeah. know it's like a few hours um I would say it's on par with how poor the Switch battery is. Um, what else? I, th I think that's about everything that we've heard. I'm just trying to think what else. I, I mean, mean, just to touch the upon that, that there was this rumour that had come out. Well, not really a rumour. I think it sounds like it's got some real credence behind it. But th there's a tech demo being shown going around mm. somewhere. Um, and the reports coming back on that tech demo are that this is a real generational leap and this, it's mind-blowing, a kind of WTF moment of, wow, this looks amazing. Well yeah, beyond yeah. what we're seeing in the likes of The Last of Us 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2, which already to us right now seems bafflingly good. So, yeah. you know, really excited that it sounds like we're not necessarily going to see an incremental gain in graphics. It, it's going to feel, it's going to have that impact of a next-gen step. And I think I said to you today, that's the one thing I like most about a console launch, and it is that step in graphics. It's that, you know, awe moment like, wow, this is powerful. And this is a beautiful so segue, Rich. Do you want to drop the bomb on what we might have planned for next year? Yes. So, um, obviously, next year, um, it's almost a guarantee that the PS5 will be um, previewed um, at E3. Um, E3 is... Um, the place to drop consoles or it has been historically anyway and I know E3 Sony didn't even attend E3 this year but I think they're going to go go out with a bang next year um, so we're looking at maybe going to E3 next year uh, we need to see whether we can balance holidays and finance and stuff but there's a possibility we may end up at E3 next year so we can see it firsthand which will be amazing yeah unfortunately the channel is not big enough to get you know free invites and and all that kind of stuff we're gonna have to fork out of our own pockets on this one and but um yeah we just feel it would be the kind of the stars are aligning a bit for it in terms of it being mm. a double next gen console reveal maybe we'll even see breath of the wild 2 who knows for the switch mm -hmm. and maybe even a switch pro of some kind yeah, um I mean we, we know that E3 has been scaling down or at least being a bit of a movable feast over the years. And there's rumors that it could eventually just become more of a convention than the, you know, kind of platform for um, releasing new software and hardware um, or revealing new software and hardware. So it, it just feels like a good time to try and push the boat out and, and see it before, uh, before it becomes something that's Yeah, I mean, I, I, look at it, I look at it like this, probably, this will be the last console launch we'll see at E3. That's how I, I view it at the moment. I don't know whether there'll be another console launch at E3 because by the time we get round to potentially, you know, PS6 or whatever, although there's a good chance that that will have gone cloud gaming, um, I just don't think we would see that kind of, of conference anymore. I just think its relevance in the, in the world is moving further and further away. Yeah, definitely. I mean, who knows what will happen in the future. Exactly. It does feel like that. It feels like we're heading in that direction. So strike while the iron is hot. So, Richemus, shall we share with our Barcadians a couple of our, I suppose, dreamland concepts of potential PS5 launch titles that we'd like to see? Yes, sounds good, mate. So, um, as people who watch the channel know, I'm well into my driving games. 
So the two things I would like to see on the PS5, um, and maybe one of them at launch would be amazing. Um, I'd be all in on it. Um, Motorstorm. Uh, I think it was an original PS3 launch title. Yes, I'm, I'd agree with you. I'm pretty sure ab that's ab bang on. Ab absolute blast. Loved the game. Loved the uh, deformable um, race tracks with the mud effects. Amazing. Um, I think a next-gen version of that on the PS5 would be incredible, especially if, if they can utilise the SSD to give you that real true sense of speed. I think that would be incredible. And um, Haptic feedback. With as well exactly haptic feet exactly so you know you could have different uh, feedback based on the mud or the gravel or the water because there was uh, a, a whole host of crazy vehicles in motorstorm wasn't there oh yeah there was bikes and trucks and i think there was like buggies, buggies and also mm. yeah all sorts so that would be amazing and and sticking on a similar theme i would love to see and it seems to have gone missing i don't know why gran turismo 6 um that's right, isn't it, Tabs? It's six we're waiting for, isn't it? I'm not or sure. Seven. Yeah, it might be seven, mate. I'm, in, I'm unsure because they called the last one Sport, haven't they? So. I know, yeah. So whatever the next Gran Turismo <laughs> is, yeah. which seems to be missing, um, you know, where is it? Where is it? We're waiting for it. I know they've done this uh, Gran Turismo Sport, which I've got, um, but where's, where's the next proper full-fat Gran Turismo? And to see that on the next-gen console with ray tracing, with the SSD, the haptic feedback, giving you that true sense of uh, speed and immersion within it, oh, that would be incredible. I think, mate, you've got a very good chance on at least one of those because surely, like you say, with the, the features of the PS5, it's just made for you know the perfect demo for the console, like an unrivaled yeah. sense of speed like we've never seen, this haptic yeah, yeah. feedback. I just think, and potentially even ray tracing in terms of the sound, as you know, yeah. 3D sense of sound mm -hmm. as you race. I think it's just made for racing games um, or any sort of vehicle experience, if you like. So flight sims, anything like that. So I think you've got a really mm -hmm. good chance. And oh, I just, I'd love to be playing that on the floor at E3, mate. That would be a yeah, dream exactly. Country. That would be amazing. And what about you, Tabs? What would you like to see? Um, I, I suppose I've got a few, um, you know, it'd be great to see a Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. I did really yeah. enjoy that game. There's a lot of potential there. I think they can do a lot more with it. Whether they've had enough time to churn out, you know, a next gen version of that game because it was colossal anyway and there was so much going on in it, I don't know. I, I think that stands a good chance, I do. Yeah, has there been rumours? Has there been any rumours now there? I don't I've know. not seen anything, but I just think it's it's a Sony either affiliate or a Sony uh, uh, studio. Um, I, and, and I think that was a big title for them on the PS4. So I think they would be pushing to get the sequel to that on the PS5, whether it's out for launch. But I do think there's a sort of a timeline that suggests that could be that could be somewhere close. That would be awesome. I mean, there's some rumours going around and we'll cover them off in more detail in a future um, Grapevine video. But GTA 6 apparently could be launching next year and that would be an absolute colossal, um, you know, launch I mean, title. So. You start to get to the point where you feel like you're getting blown away. You know, you got Death Stranding, which looks amazing. You've got The Last of Us. You're going to get into Cyberpunk. Then you're going to get next generation console and then GTA 6. I mean, it, it sounds too good to be true when you put it like yeah. that, doesn't it? So maybe we should yeah. uh, edge off the uh, the hype a little bit on that, that front. But wouldn't it be amazing if it was? Oh, and and to be fair, we're crying. I mean, in for Rockstar, GTA still makes a lot of money. You know, it's one of the I think it's it's one of the biggest grossing games mm. still, even though it's like what six seven years old or something same with red dead 2 they turn the online mode into like a game as a service don't they and just exactly yeah keep expanding and just make that. money yeah exactly yeah, print money um yeah. i mean apart from that there's some very and again we'll cover this off in the upcoming grapevine video but there's some slight rumors out there that there could be an uncharted game in the works Oof, you know um, i'm excited about that yeah which obviously wouldn't star um, Nathan Drake, Nathan, because no. that story we understand has ended. 
Um, so that is well, we, we know it's ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, if 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 you've played them all anyway. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I suppose just for me, a little kind of a special place in my heart is it, I think it's Japan Studio. So I'm mm. talking Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, The Last yeah, Guardian. Yeah. I'd love to see a you know a cheeky little game from them, next gen graphics. Mm. Oh, Whether yeah. we will or not, I, I very much doubt it. That I think they tend to launch into you know the life cycle of a new console, and we know from The Last Guardian they went through uh, through some sort of developmental hell with it. So. You know whether they they've been in a place where they can kind of get one ready to launch and go at the start is very unlikely. But I, I tell you what, I I would bet on seeing Rich. And again, we've talked about driving experiences, but maybe some Got sort it. of extreme sports game. Hmm. I I forget the um the one, but you could kind of do skydiving. You could do like you could race on quad bikes and you could X games. Maybe when well, next game stuff would be would be cool, but again, yeah, just yeah. all to do with what we've been talking about—the sense of speed, mm. you know, yeah, the yeah. haptic feedback—and mm. and this is this is totally out there, dreamland, um, and will probably never happen. But I think for me, it would be—I'd love to see it. Um, building on the likes of Tony Hawk skateboarding, I mean, we, we, I don't think we'll ever see another one of those come to a, a mainline console. But I would love to see Alex Honnold's free climbing. Can you imagine <laughs> how good that would be? Ooh, dear. I don't know whether my palms could take it. <laughs> but can you imagine it? So next gen graphics, you're in Yosemite yeah. National Park. You can go yeah, in this yeah. little van and drive around different climbing sites. And you, yeah. you use these haptic triggers to kind of climb each uh, route free climbing style you know you've got all this kind of feedback in terms of his heart beating mm. you don't want to make a slip or a wrong move i mean i think it, it could just be amazing if they did something yeah, like that yeah and especially if they could use it so you know maybe you've got to be really hard on some holds some holds you've got to be a little bit lighter on maybe there's a button for your legs your individual feet individual hands yeah. well you look you've got your triggers and you've got your dual analog sticks i think you could exactly. do a great deal with those yeah, I mean, yeah. could you even take it VR? You know, is that somewhere you could push into? Oof, with, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and people with Vertigo would hate that game, but I think it could be really amazing, yeah. you know, if it's a really out there idea, but then it's we've seen the popularity and how well it's done in the cinemas, the, the film. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I like it. So who knows? But yeah, I suppose, amazing. Rich, we should mention VR as well. You know, have you got any? Yeah, I mean, I mean that there's a suggestion that there'll be a new headset to go with the PS5, which will be like the the second variant of it, and almost certainly will be a good step forward because technology that's that's been out quite a while now, and technology has moved on quite a chunk. So, you know, I think it's to backwards something. compatible as well with the old one. I'm sure I've read that. Oh, okay, that's cool. So obviously, you're not you're, the hardware of the old one is not going to get better. But perhaps no. because you're going to be playing better games, the kind of the graphical. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a good shout, actually. But I, I have heard from rumours that there'll be a new headset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that would be amazing, and and it makes mm. sense. I think they want to expand yeah. into that, and you know, they we could really see next gen graphics. I tell you what, though, if mm. there's a Resident Evil Eight, mate, there's no chance I'm playing it. Nope. What what in 4K HD with ray tracing? You don't. Can fancy you it? imagine? Oh, like literally, dear. almost real life graphics. Oh, oh. I'm out. yeah, I'm out. Absolutely horrendous. But I think there's some real, like you say, ray tracing in terms of sound, enemy yeah. AI, mm. lighting. You know, next gen WTF level graphics. Yeah. V VR could be a very uh, intense experience. That's for sure. I mean, you know, we're at such an exciting time in the gaming industry at the minute. There's so many amazing looking games. We've got new consoles on the way, new hardware. It's just such an amazing time to be interested in gaming, I think. No, absolutely, mate. And just before we finish, I forgot one, uh, a little sneaky one. I would oh, love man. to see, I guess, I, I can't, I don't think we will. I think they've put this series to bed seemingly, but Jack and Daxter, I would. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I was always a massive fan of Jack and Daxter. I know mm. a lot of people kind of transferred those affections to the likes of Ratchet and Clank, um, mm. which I think we could see something on. But I'd love to see a Jack and Daxter, just something like a, a fun and bouncy platformer mm. 
that really acts as a you know a bit of a showpiece for the new graphics and you know the, the scope and ambition they can achieve uh, you know i think they're the perfect sort of launch game experiences for me so i would love to see that but highly unlikely definitely i mean that that's a really good fun game and it's one of those um sort of appeals to everyone sort of game i think yeah i that's think that's the so. beauty it, about it being a launch title yeah and they're the like they're the, the sort of ones that you can kind of churn out when you're still getting used to new hardware as opposed to like yes. your epic red dead redemption mm. gta you know those are massive games that you like to have a good handling of the hardware but these kind of platformers fun cartoony platformers that i could really see you know doing well but definitely who knows so yeah i think that's probably about it rich do you want to do you want to sign us out on this one sounds good so uh, if you enjoyed the video uh give us a like if you didn't a dislike and just drop us a comment um just saying what you didn't think worked so well and if you want to engage with us just drop us a comment tell us what you're excited about tell us what you're looking forward to um what Woo! things we missed maybe <laughs> what things we've maybe missed out um and yeah, just def drop us a comment. We we reply to all comments, um, and we'll give you. Well, a we like try to. We can't guarantee it, but we do our very best, <laughs> don't we? We do. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, and I think. Uh, oh, and if you did enjoy the videos, give us a subscribe, and obviously don't forget to uh, click that bell for notifications of all our new content. And I think that's about it. Another one for the archive. Stamped and completed. <laughs>